Welcome back to Monster Misfits, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to take this or any skeleton and turn it into this. So bend over, grab your ankles, and enjoy the show. All right, guys. So what we've done is took a regular skeleton, and this is how we've corpsed it out a little bit. So I just wanted to kind of show you how what we're doing. So what we did is we put some fake teeth in there, which is very time consuming, by the way. And they were a pain in the butt, but they're in there. And uh, of course we put his uh, juggler in there. And we corpsed him in places that we thought that would look cool. We bent his fingers up however we, you want. It don't have to be like that, but however we want. We put a couple things in here. Now this is just your base. So, and what I recommend with this guys is let it, once you fill everything with your great stuff, let it set for a couple days or overnight and let that really sit up nice and hard and that will, that will give you a good base to work on because if you kind of start working on it right away, it will still expand even a day or so afterwards so I, I recommend spraying your foam on let it set for a day or two then come back and work on it now how i got my great stuff looking so creepy looking like this is what the trick is is letting that great stuff set up just enough to where it starts getting tacky so you want kind of tacky and you can smear it however you want to and that will give you that effect now we just don't stop here. We're going to go do some shop towels. So I got these shop towels at Home Depot and this is what we're going to use. We're going to dip this in latex and we're going to corpse this guy. Now you won't use a lot of this, but you will use some of it. So, so what I do, now these are pretty good strong shop towels and once it's all done, the detail that gets that these give off is amazing uh, of how the detail is. So what we want to do is, you know, you got squared ends, so you don't you don't want the you want you want it to be kind of frayed, so you don't you don't want them nice and neat and even and all that stuff. Now don't throw these away because you can use these later, but we'll get rid of these hard edges on this shop towel. They don't have to be perfect or anything like that. Just tear some off because we'll probably be using a few of them. No biggie. So there you go. Now there's your skin. So you got a flap of skin. So what we'll do is we're going to dip that in latex. So what I got is I got a five gallon bucket of latex and we're gonna dip this in there. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Here's another tip for you guys. Go to Harbor Freight and get you a box of these cheap paint brushes. You'll need them and you'll thank me later because they're, one of these will cost you two bucks at Home Depot. A whole box of, I think they're 30 or 40, 36 for like 14 bucks. So now what we'll do is what I like doing is just dipping my brush in the latex and you will, you will brush your latex on all of your foam. So now you just, the, the hardest part is choosing which side you want it on. But this one's already told me what side to go on because I had a blow out here with uh, the great stuff, which is fine. Uh, take your mess ups or you think they're mess ups and use it to your advantage. So now what we'll do is we'll put it on our skeleton. Just figure out where you want it at and we'll lay it out. Now 
And don't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is we're basically going to cut holes in this and we're going to make it ripped up and all that good stuff. So now we'll just lay text over top of our uh, paper towel that we just laid down. Now I will tell you this is a long process so it's not something you're going to be able to do in a couple hours so you take your time and um, I know time is precious but take your time and just uh, keep playing with your skeleton until you get how you want it. So there we go and usually I'll put a piece of paper towel up here, a piece on his head somewhere and maybe a piece or two on his leg. And another thing I do as well is I put a I put a piece in between here too, so it looks like your back back flaps are right in here. And uh, so we'll do that. Now you see all this stuff, all this great stuff that's pulled out of the came out of the holes. And what we'll do is we'll just pick that out. But I'm not going to pick that out until we get our flaps on. Then whatever's left over, we'll we'll pick out. So what I'll do is I'll go in here with some more latex. some of his back bones and stuff like that. And what we're using the latex for is basically like a, a, an adhesive. You don't have to do it this way. You can glue it down if you want to, but we're doing it this way. So now we get another paper towel. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just rip it up in uh, little small pieces or whatever. Just get rid of them hard edges. Don't have to be nothing spectacular. And we will, well, let's put some latex on this too. Because my whole point in, in this is I definitely want to my skeleton have the, the skin texture on there. I want it to look like skin in certain places, but I don't want the whole thing in uh, skin, just certain places. I really like this technique and uh, this is still the process, but you kind of get the gist of it. Uh, looks pretty cool. I still got to add his teeth and everything, but I wanted to show you the basics on how to do this. So what we're doing is his kind of his meat, you could say. So what we're doing, as you can see his meat, this is spray foam. So what we do is we spray it on, let it get sticky, then we take a popsicle stick, then we just smear it around where we want it at. If it gets too thick, you can always just go through and pick it out. Just pick you some tears out of it. You don't, don't need it. There you go. So we didn't do the whole thing. We're just doing a little piece of it. Then this is what over here to show you. Uh, so I'm doing a couple of them at a time and what I'm doing is, is this is fresh so once this starts setting up we're basically popping the bubble so it's not smooth it'll be rough looking and all that goody stuff so uh, then we'll spray foam his innards and we'll, ooh, I got it on my fingers 
So what I do is just spray foam his insides and let it puff up against uh, the rib cage that we'll go through and we'll pick some of that out. Then we'll paint that whatever color we want or we'll cover it up, however you want to do it. But uh, we've already got his fingers bent how we wanted them. I think that's kind of important. We got some of the innards uh, put in him so we can paint those. And all this is is just uh, that foam, foam rod you can get from Home Depot. It's solid foam and it heat gun melts up pretty good. And in his neck, what we did, this is wire loom. So this is the poly foam that we're using for the kind of the guts. And we're also using this here. So we're using this here, it's called flex tubing, for his windpipe. Now with this skeleton here, uh, the, the mouth is closed. So I opened up, put some hot melt glue in his joints there to hold them back. Throw some spray paint in his eyes and his nose and back of his mouth. And like I said, as soon as this sets up, we'll smear this out. And this is the kind of thing you get. Now you don't have to be perfect on this because what you're gonna do is you're gonna be covering this with and latex. And this is the shop towels I use, white rags. Home Depot, I think 12 bucks for, I don't know, 100. 12 bucks for 200 rags. So, so that'll get you good, good ways. And what I do is I pull one of these out and I rip it up so it doesn't have squared edges on it. And I will put it on the body. And this, this is kind of where you come up with putting some of that on. Now this is the guts and everything that I put inside. That's that spray foam. And then we take, you know, uh, roll up latex and put veins and stuff in there and then we'll we'll paint up purples and blues and pinks and stuff like that reds in there and that will give it just a little bit of a color you don't want it real bright but it'll give us a little bit of color because we are going for a rock color so as soon as this sets up a little bit more we're going to start latexing this bad boy his legs and we still got to install these teeth so so probably what I'll do is once we start on this skeleton here, I'll give you an overall, I'll, I'll kind of show you how I did that and the steps it took to do it and blah, 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 and all that stuff. Anyway, let's do some more work. All right, guys, as you can see, our next step is to paint all of our paper towel and our stuff black. Don't paint all your bones, just paint your latex and your paper towels and stuff black. Then you will take some light colored paint, khaki, white or whatever, and go over that with dry brush it. So that's what it'll look like. We did the feet, legs, all that stuff. So we got him done. So now what we need to do is break up these guts a little bit and we'll do that by painting them different colors like pinks and reds and stuff like that. So, so what we're gonna do is just got a regular brush and we're just gonna paint some uh, acrylics, crass acrylics, whatever, and put them inside the guts. And this just will brighten it up a little bit and get it ready for stain.
don't have as much as to do on the back. Except for right here where he's his uh, ribs are exposed on this section here. And you're not putting a lot of paint on it, you're just kind of throwing a little bit of color here, there, and yonder on it. Just to kind of get it blended in there. Now we go back in with the red. We're just doing the same things we did in the front. Just give it a little bit of, of collar. Kind of mimic the guts. Because your guts are kind of weird colored too as well. They're not just purple or pink or red. They're just kind of all over the place. Okay. So this is what the back looks like.
All right, guys, there you go. There's how we built these corpse. And uh, I think I'm gonna do one mummified, make him like a kind of like a mummy. And these will go inside of a coffin and they will sway back and forth. So they'll come in and out of the coffin. Um, right now I'm just building them and then we'll start building our coffins. Then uh, we'll hook up the mechanism and all that stuff. And then we'll take you along for that ride too. So you can see how I do all that. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, these will be available for sale at MHC. I think they're gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, we hope you enjoy guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Go check out my trio brothers as David the Weird Kid Show and Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. We're always making something. So anyway, guys, we hope you enjoy and we'll see you on the next one. Keep it creepy.